Yes, uh, how wonderful and lovely. Yes, so. Aha. Un, dos, tres. Uno, dos. Un, dos, tres. Eso. Para nuestros ancestros. Yari, hola, hello. Welcome everyone to We Are Each Other's Magnitude. How wonderful it has been to spend the last two days in community with you all. Poetry workshops, visual arts workshops with everyone hearing all of the beautiful words that you have had to share and your beautiful presence with us. It has been so amazing and it has been my favorite thing to be with you all. So we are now starting this open mic off with some drums in honor of our beloved benevolent ancestors. It is so important to honor those who have come before us, who have made it possible for us to be here tonight on these beautiful lands, lands that our beautiful indigenous people have made it possible for us to be on and we honor them when we say thank you to all of the indigenous peoples of these lands, the Nipmuc, the Nanatuk, and all of the peoples. There's so many and we thank you, all of you. And we wanna thank our benevolent ancestors that are with us, that are present. We did some ancestors calling earlier and I'd like to invite you now to do that with us as well, to call in your beautiful benevolent ancestors. And you can say their name out loud if you wish to do so. And we're just gonna take a moment to bring those ancestors forward, to bring them closer to us, to say thank you. And envision them with all of the love that they've given us and giving all of that love back. Let's take a moment to do that, shall we? And I would love to hear the names out loud if you so desire to share them with us.
Sally. Gracias, Jajom, Sally. Enrique, gracias, Jajom. Margo, gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias, ancestros. Gracias, gracias. A home, a home, a home. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, we are going to start. So I'd like to call the first person to come on up and read some phenomenal poetry. So we're gonna shift a little bit. I'm gonna move the drums out. Gonna bring this mic forward a bit and call up to the stage our first person. And we welcome to the stage, Indy. Indy. <laughs> Making me what you like. I really care about appearance and what I wear because it makes all the difference in how you stare. See, I am just made of what I know, never been where I shouldn't go. Don't break rules, that's what I've been told. Make a mold and I'll stay there. Oh, I grin. But I don't understand what's going on. Or if I've ever been wrong, I wouldn't know. If no one tells me the truth, the truth about me. The truth about me. The truth about me. Ooh, a rose. From me, I'll take any praise. <laughs> Regardless, I'm cynical about my way of moving in this papier mache. But I might look good to the camera. But I'll be overthinking anyway. I don't know who I'm supposed to be or what I need for an identity. Speak my name, but who is Indy? Oh, I grin, but I don't understand what's going on. Or if I've ever been wrong, I would have known. If no one tells me the truth, the truth about me, the truth about me, 
the truth about me. Every little sense of self is swept up by the new year, redefining who I am upon patterns of the night stars. Who would I be if nobody told me? If nobody told me? If nobody told me their truth about me, their truth about me, their truth about me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's truth. Um, you can hear that with guitar and everything tomorrow night, 6 p.m. or 3.30 p.m. at the 50 Arrow Gallery in East Hampton. <laughs> All right, y'all, give it up one more time for Indy. That was beautiful. Thank you for coming up. Blessing the mic tonight. Come on, let's hear it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, beautiful people. I now would like to welcome to the stage Jason. And before I do that, I just want to remind you, we welcome all the whoops, all the hollers, all the yes, all the snaps and claps and snow toe taps and feet stomps and everything in the audience. We welcome that and let us bring that energy fully into the space. Um, it's not easy to come up here to the mic and share your words or whatever you have on your heart or song or anything. And so let's make sure we give big, big energy to everyone coming up to the mic, y'all. All right, Jason, come on. Yes, thank you. I also accept booze. So I'm going to read some poems, two of which I wrote tonight here at this lovely, lovely gathering of community. It's a beautiful thing with an amazing energy. So thank you to our host, Julissa. Thank you, Abby. Thank you very, very much. So I'd like to remind everyone that every poem's a love poem. I am scraps of spit wet cardboard folded into water lilies in rain streaming through gutters, grates, and storm drains washed out to the ocean, finally free, to drift in azul vastness, tossed on white tops, cresting on ripples left by dolphin fins, kissed by seabird feathers, never longing for the shore, I'll move to the sunsets, purples, pinks, yellows, finally free, to disappear, waterlogged beneath the black blanket of the night. So that was from tonight. This one's a collage. Um, privacy, please, as I lament the loss of you. These tears, the big easy escape from the end of an end. Curiouser and curiouser are these momentary moments that hold your essence tight and secure in the folds of bedclothes and fabric memories. Love can be healing around. So, privacy, please. Can I read two more? Because I'm reading all new stuff tonight, so these are all new poems. Yay, new poems! Be careful. The East Washington Station abuts the fashion district. You can't thank life for lessons you never asked to learn. 
by three full downtown blocks, broken lessons, broken noses, but it is still the straightest line, fractured shadows that wait patiently under crosswalk lights, changing from red to green and back to red again. Through the flower market, with skin on skin on skin on skin, scream I'm sorry to the blues, pinks, purples of dusk in a small town, painted with roses, marigolds you might never live in. Kiss the boy whose rough cheek scrapes the hope from your tongue, crushed chrysanthemum like the high grit sandpaper planes splintered from a two by four stud that will be shut away in a bracing wall in rain gutters be careful harboring a lust for the golden moments washed into the LA River cartoons on a Sunday morning ice cream on a cold winter's day our floundering Madonna by pinched green garden hoses blunt force marijuana and a long road to walk without shoes That one's done. And finally, if you want to love me, then love me. There are a thousand reasons not to. The patchwork of scars on my arms, legs, stomach, back, scream them. Is it the cold water in an iced over winter puddle that holds your tongue? If you want to love me, then love me. There's only one reason to, and it isn't the love I have for you. If you want to love me, then love me before you walk away. Thank you. Give it up one more time for Jason Montgomery. That was amazing. Thank you, Jason. Woo -hoo! Yes. And now we would like to welcome to the stage Rakia. Come on, please. Thank you so much. Round of applause, y'all. Greetings, love, honor, and thanks to you. Lily Rock, they call me. Or Rakia, as I was introduced. I hope you're all well, and I'm really grateful to be here with you today. I'm going to do some oldies and a couple of newies. So, you know, this time of year in the autumn, we're moving towards the equinox. You can start to feel it's getting a little colder at night, and people are going back to school and all of that, and everything's returning, returning to the earth. And there's a custom for many people, many of my people, to also return to ourselves, to our groundedness, to our original places and lands, and knowing of our inner goodness. They're talking about the worthiness, the ma uh, what was the word? Magnitude. Magnitude. So that reminds me of like the magma and the magneticness that, that draws all of us back to our mother, the earth. And so this, this song and, and spoken word is called Return. Oh, I can't. 
Michigan children to life beyond Winnie. This is the end, but it's just the beginning. Awake and human to life beyond Winnie. I'm inspired, brain rewired. When the gong gets up, I'm higher to a level most despised. Shining love, light the fire, bring it in. Let's begin for transitions happening. We're ascending, stop pretending. After death, it turns and ending. Shine is changing me and ranging to the <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Climate's changing, rearranging, seasons mixed up, pizza's strange, and children dying. Who says lying? Listen up, the mother's crying. Return to me. I'm in your heart. Return again from beginning boy can children to life beyond winning this is the end but it's just the beginning boy can human to life beyond winning because there's no such thing as black or white there's no such thing as wrong or right. For out beyond right and wrong, there's a field. And I'll meet you there. Mama love to Tiana and Miriam Venus. Bless it up on Goddess Mountain and you'll see what the scene is. Yeah, it's the rainbow bridge that we be manifesting with our love and identity. We be sweet, caressing, so join in and get kissed. You might learn a lesson, open up to connect and receive the blessing. Return to me, I'm in your heart, return again from where we start. This is the end, but it's just the beginning, awaken children to life beyond winning. This is the end, but it's just the beginning. Awaken human to life beyond winning, cause I am you. So we love upon our neighbors as we do upon ourselves. Golden rules, eternal and platinum, dancing like fairies and elves. Yo, we keep it elemental like a fire and air. Let the water trickle, gentle, carving out a new snare. Yeah, we keep the body moving, but the mind, it is still. We let the tears be overflown so we be present at will. Cause we are the ones we've been waiting for. Awaken, ascend, recapitulate, and soar.
I just wanted to get, say another round of applause for Rakia. Thank you, thank you very much. And welcome, beautiful Lyric, to the stage. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Um, I just have one poem to share. Um, it doesn't have a title, um, but something I'll share about it is um, I've always been called sensitive all my life as a uh, critique of my myself, my existence, crybaby, too sensitive. So this song, this song, it's not a song. I will not be singing. Uh, <laughs> this poem is about um, how I feel about people who aren't sad in the same way that I'm sad and seem to have trouble with being sad. Um, for you, does sadness ever sting? Does it ever burn in your chest like whiskey before the tears flow? Or does it lump up in your throat, gurgle in your stomach, ache in your head, thicken in your mouth, sunken in your knees? Do they buckle? How does it feel for you? Does sadness ever leave the brain, rush through the blood? Or for you, does sadness hide like a scared child, never emerges, always lured out of hiding? when not pushed away. What happens if she comes out? Will she bite? Will she scream? Will she run through the body like river rapids? Water pressure of a fire hose, peel the skin off your back, exposed, raw. Does sadness ever sting? Wouldn't you like to know? That's the poem. Thank you so much, that was beautiful. I deeply appreciate you coming up and sharing that with us. Um, what a gift, y'all, thank you. Um, I would now like to welcome to you um, Abby Russell, who is also uh, co-lead for this beautiful sharing in community called We Are Each Other's Magnitude Because We Are, and so, Let's welcome Ebby Russell, poet extraordinaire, to the stage um, to share some words with you all. All right, y'all, round of applause. Thank you. Do I know how to adjust this, though? Let's see. <laughs> here, I think? Or is it here? Oh, here. Oh, just a little lower. Is that? Oh, there we go. I did it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, and thank you once again to my co-organizer, uh, partner in crime and all things arts, Julissa Rodriguez. Thank you. One more big applause for them. Thank you all for coming out tonight. By any means, we are necessary. Pretend it's a city, pretend we're in love, that ROM we've been coming to forever in need of repair. A new portal lured us to the creation myth, how we came to be this hot, this animalistic. Animist, disco dancing, hearts pounding fist. By a flick of the wrist, we discovered euphoria, utopia. The video game sim where I love you as far as my imagination can throw. You smell like sweaty peaches and freshly baked dough. I want to travel to meet you. On the right side of forgiveness, bending toward the arc of justice like Martin dreamed, and I want my voyage to mean something. I want our love to lift us up each day, remembering ourselves whole and holy, Hearts and parts intact, big and bold, too. I want to get lost in you, 
without losing myself, without climbing into your skin while shedding old sins, struggling off loads, sharing loaves, shaking leaves, shedding old clothes, breaking skin. Brethren, who let you in? And shall we gather grinning widely? Sip us slowly the suggestion, a brew, cauldrons of cider, apple and fire. What beasts these dreams be, what dreams may come? Will the thinning of the veil bring about the thickening of skin or veiled threats, a Halloween costume? Accustomed to a battle cry, love is a battlefield but never a bruise. Wind down a spiritual bath or a spiritual path or desire. What of urban planning, go bags, survival? Ouchia on the outer banks, swimming by you, hey you, bedazzled, not bamboozled, spinning arms outstretched in between a trance and a trans formation. Working out whether our libations, better drug or translation. Imagine the freedom we'd have if we rid ourselves of blasphemous medicine, stuck on our adolescence, smile at the essence, the context clues. Our elders know, our armor shows, our force fields glow and activate. Protecting ourselves by any means we are necessary. Past, present, future. Alexis says, to love you is to love all three. We, shekere, cross sticks and stones, patch broken bones, surely don't split poles. Skip cracks to save our mother's backs, breach borders, skim spines for you. To boldly glow where many a black Caribeño baby has glowed before. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, we have Julissa coming back to the mic. Woo oh, thank you. You are so kind. So kind. Thank you. No, no, it's okay. Oh, please. No. <laughs> I'm playing. Um, all right, I just have two short poems for y'all. And uh, I just wanna say again, it's been such a pleasure to be with you all in community and I hope we can do this again real soon. All right, the first one is called Queer Dream. I've been called femboy, boy femme, faggot, dyke. I be they, them, a queerdo, a les, and the like. Yeah, I'm all of them, I'm gay, gay, gay. A hologram, the penultimate J, not the last Hota, but one of a wound. I've been gay since I was in the womb. A girl boy, everything in between. I sit on the moon, I dance on a beam of light meant for me and you, my moonlit. Queer dream in June, a life meant just for you and me. A starlit queer dream by the sea. I'm always thinking of my ancestors. I have so much to be thankful for. Um, my ancestors, they are just with me. Um, I didn't have a teacher playing drums. And every time I say that, it's like I did have a teacher. Um, I had an elder remind me, your ancestors taught you. And that means more than anything. And so. I always want to say thank you to my ancestors, and this is um, gratitude for ancestors and gratitude for all of you and all things beautiful and light and divine. This is called Impeccable. I want to be impeccable with my words. Hold my tongue accountable to the Most High Speak with the brilliance and benevolence of my beloved ancestors, that my mouth form the sounds that heal our ancestral wounds. I want the words that leave my lips to go find some kind of pure magic and bring it back to me, to us. Sing us back the songs that have been stolen, the ones we left, the ones we lost. I want the words of my wise ancestors to blossom in my mouth, fly away 
Land some place beautiful, take root and bloom fruitful and nourish all the places that feel broken. I want the words that are spoken between you and I, between us and them, between God, non-believers, sinners, and saints to be so sacred, so clear. We do not recoil or run scared. We are not marred. We are cleansed, and every scar we bear becomes a flower that we carry to the altar of forgiveness. Thank you very much. I'd like to bring back Abby up to the stage. We are just so grateful, y'all. We are so grateful. Such beautiful words and beautiful energy here tonight. Thank you for bringing it. We can't wait to be able to do this again with you, and we hope it is very, very soon. Yes. Um, I don't have anything to add. I just, <laughs> you said it all. Well, I want to say thank you, Abby, for you, Julie, organizing <laughs> this. Um, it is our extreme love and joy to be with you and to do this with you. And um, we hope you all have a real good night yes. and a beautiful weekend. And we hope that you take some of the words and the energy shared tonight with you and that you um, put it out back out into the universe in honor and in thanks of ancestors, in honor and thanks of your own beautiful, creative, you know, like, um, um, magnificent and um, divine selves and for all of us for each other yeah. let's give our all of ourselves a round of a last round of applause for all of us coming into community thank you so much everyone thank you good night